Hi guys, Squad here. Welcome back to another Car Mechanic Sim video. We're now level 5, 1470 XP. We need another 400 to level up. That's our next goal. Uh, let's see what kind of job we can get. Actually, let me just check the... Because um, we leveled up last time, didn't we? Let me just quickly check that nothing happened over here, that we can't suddenly access anything. No, still the same. At some point, the barns will become available, but not yet. Okay, so we have the story order. We have a change engine oil and filter. That's pretty boring. Filters need replacing. Car is hard to control. Find and fix running order gear problems. That one just came in down here. Replace all filters. Replace timing related parts. Okay. Let's see. Suspension rattle. We did a suspension one last time, didn't we? So maybe what we'll do is we'll get a... That's a filter. That's an engine oil filter. We'll take this, replace filters and replace timing related parts. We'll grab that. We'll put it on the... Uh, we'll put it on the ramp. We shall pop that up a notch. And then we'll also grab the story mode one. Uh, a Salam Kiran. I bought this machine from a friend who needed money quickly. He insured me uh, that the car is working, but something strongly pulls it to the right, and this strange smell like mushrooms. <laughs> what? From what I remember, he works behind a desk, not a sales. Anyway, check what's wrong and make it usable. And then this one came in. Timing is replacing. Put new engine oil filter. Right, we'll take that. Right, so we've got to fix mushroom car in a minute. Uh, but first of all, we're going to fix this one. And let's have a look at the list. Uh, air filter and oil filter, followed by a whole lot of pumps and stuff. Right, so, we're going to have to drain the oil first thing. Uh, let's see, move equipment. That's like quite a lot of oil, actually. Okay. Let's double check. Water pump, cam gear, timing chain, water pump, pulley, air filter, and oil filter. Let's bring it back down a notch. I don't think we need to have it up there. Let's pop this open and get inside. Okay. Apparently the oil filter, which is literally right here. Like, right here. Look at it. It's... it's <laughs> Apparently I have to have it... I can only access that from underneath, even though it's right there. It really doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, we'll go with it. There you go. Let's take the oil filter off. That was utter faff. Okay, let's pop the cover off the top here. We can get the air filter out of here. So we've got that now. Air filter and oil filter are done. Right, water pump, cam gear, timing chain, and water pump pulley. Tell you what, there's a lot broken on this car. Get the cam camera into a nice position. Thermostat. Right, let's have a look. Serpentine belt. Radiator fan. That's going to have to come off. Let's get the serpentine belt B off there. The A belt off there. We're going to need the water pump pulley. Water pump itself. Uh, let's have a look. The water pump pulley, the water pump, the cam gear, and the timing chain. Cam gear and the timing chain. I'm not familiar with this engine layout, so I'm just going to work my way around here. Timing cover is here, so let's get. Crankshaft pulley off that. 
Then we'll get the timing. Stupid camera. Keeps putting me behind the radiator. Okay, there we go. There's a timing chain. Which we now have. And the cam gear, which is this thing. Okay, I believe that's everything. Let's double check with the repair bench. Oh yeah, we can have a go. Right, so the way this works is this. We can spend $9 trying to repair this. We have a 50% chance currently. The only way we can increase this is with skill points. In essence, this is a gamble at this stage because it's a 50-50 chance uh, whether we spend $9 and we repair it. If we succeed, we'll bring this repair up. You know, it, it could be anywhere around here. It could be 100%, could be less. Uh, if we fail, we'll actually make it worse. So I'm going to try and repair it. That made it worse. So if we... <laughs> If we now look at it, it's now in 2% condition. So we basically got the screwdriver uh, in there with the hammer and just completely mass massacred it. That's what just happened. Uh, so let's see. That was the, what, the timing cover, was it? That was one of these things. So $76, right? We wasted $9. Had that succeeded, we would have saved quite a bit of money. And that's, that's essentially what's happening here. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, we want an air filter, we want cam gear, air filter, cam gear, oil filter. And let's go with filters. Uh, that was one of those, wasn't it? Air filter. Oil filter was one of these things for a 16. I believe that was right anyway. Cam gear. Okay, I didn't pay attention to the cam gear enough. Let's go back and check this. Right, this air filter is definitely right. The oil filter, I definitely got right. The cam gear is off a 16B. And the timing chain is off a 16B. And the water pump. Cam gear is off a 16B, which is that one. The timing chain is from a 16B. And the water pump is 16B as well. So we've got the right one of that. We've got the right one of that. And that. Which only leaves us with a water pump pulley. Hmm. Does that need replacing? 46%. Water pump pulley. Right, so everything else is in pretty good nick, apart from the fan, which is on 46%. If we have a look at the car status, it says the minimum part condition is 46. So that is right on the cusp of not being allowed, but it is allowed. And that's what matters. So we'll get that on there, we're going to get the pump back on there. Cam gear followed by the timing chain. Brand new cover. Even in the same blue as the engine. Wonderful. Crankshaft pulley, which hasn't been touched, but is in okay condition. One of the serpentine belts, the other serpentine belt. The fan, which is just good enough. And then we are ready to go up the top here. We can't do the oil filter. Because the game is a scumbag. So we can't actually fit that. So I'll have to pop it up on the ramp. And while we're doing that, let's check the inventory. So the only thing we have left in the inventory is the oil filter. Got to fill it with oil. We're good to go.
Glug, glug. Car status is all ticked, $494. Ka-ching! And we have nearly leveled up. We need another 220 XP. So, this is the big one. Uh, bought a machine from a friend who needed money quickly and showed me the car isn't working, but something strangely pulls it to the right. Okay. Uh, strange smell like mushrooms. Uh, there could be all manner of things wrong with this one. It's not showing anything up here. I think I might take it out on the test track. We could path test it as well because we have a path test now. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, could you be any slower? This engine is horrendous, and it took it all the way to the red line before it changed gear. Listen to that. Oh god, no. No! <laughs> I can honestly overtake this guy on a push bike. Change gear, dude, you're gonna blow the engine. Wow. Possibly the worst car I've taken around this track. There we go. Right, I think we'll take it on the path test as well, just to see what the kind of... the brakes and stuff are like. Come on, game. There we go. Right, inner and outer tie rods. Some drive axles are broken. That accounts for six of the parts. Which we can now see are at the front there. Otherwise, a lot of stuff is fine. Uh, move car into the test path. And then... Yep. I thought the car wasn't going to start then. I was like, well, how can we path test it if we can't start the car? Press and hold the brake. Forty-one percent front brakes. They don't look great, do they? Holding the brake. Rear brakes, thirty-four percent. Let's get jiggy with it. Those numbers are not very high. That's complete. Well, there you go. That paints a pretty picture, doesn't it? Blimey. Bushings galore are broken here. Let's get you onto the lifter. Let's have a look at the overview. Yeah, look at that. Now we can see a lot of stuff. You can see the bushing like here and here. You can see the brakes there are shot. All the bushings here. So how many... Is that all of them? No, see, there's still some more parts that we haven't discovered yet. We're going to have to do it as we go along. Okay. First things first, let's get this wheel off. Overview. No. Wow. Just wow. Okay, brakes coming off, brake pads are coming off, brake disc is coming off. The suspension arm is completely wrecked. Uh, what state is that in? That actually looks okay from here. This one looks absolutely wrecked. 
outer and inner tire rods are coming off. This we have to get underneath for. Um, let's do this side while we're here. Right, caliper. Now I don't know. Yeah, we don't need to remove this one. And this is fine as well. Just check the pads are okay. No, the pads are broken. The wheel hub cap is broken as well, look. Take the pads off. We'll take the wheel hub cap off. That was probably one of the items that... It, um, That was probably one of the items that was on the list that it didn't identify. Uh, this is going to have to come off on the accessible from left. We're going to have to get this off in a second. Uh, let's take... I'm going to take all four out. I'm not sure if we need to or not. But it's, it's easily one of those things that hasn't been identified. Okay, that's those four. Part not discovered. One, two, three, four. Four parts. Okay. Crikey. Let's see if we can spot what they are from in here. Go into examine mode. They're all fine. That radiator doesn't look clever. Let me just take the housing off. We'll pop the rad out. One, two, three, four. So it wasn't the radiator. 55% on the red. Yeah, they're actually look in decent condition. Hmm. Can be examined by a compression tester. Can be examined by an electronic meter. They all look in good shape. I mean, it could be something inside the timing cover, or it could be something down at the back there. These rolls all look fine. Right, let's pop it up. Actually, that... Um, that wheel hub, hub cover... Sorry, wheel hub cap looks broken. We'll take the suspension arm off. We shall take off the steering rack. We may be able to repair some of this stuff, you know. This doesn't look like it's in great... Yeah, that's broken as well, look. The whole cross member. Now, the cross member is quite an expensive component. Um, but we get a chance at fixing it. We have a 50-50% chance of fixing that. Let's get down the back here. Now we know the bushings are broken here. We also can see that the brakes are... There's brake damage on both wheels and there's rubber bushing damage on the front there. So let's get those bushings out of there. Okay, let's get the wheel out. Quite a big job, this one. Caliper, brake pads are coming off. Brake, brake disc. Whoa, solid rear drive axle. It's completely wrecked. Yeah, that bit's okay.
Okay, let's go around the other side. So thinking about this, as we get the more complicated jobs, um, the scope for being able to save money by repairing things is definitely there, isn't it? Which is which is making me think that 50-50 chance needs to be increased. But that would mean spending money on on that stat. Bumping that 50% thing up. But it'll pay dividends. Like, if you get a 300 or even a $700 part and you repair it for, you know, a fraction of the price, massive, massive profit. Let's see where we're at now. Okay, we've identified all parts, which means we have all the parts in our inventory now. So let's see. Um, what's the minimum percentage on this one? The minimum percentage is repair with minimum part condition 100%. Oh my god. 100%. Now the thing is that only applies to parts that we actually repair. That's the thing. Like these wheels here are 55%, but because they're not part of the list of repairs, we don't need to touch them. The brakes caliper cylinders though, right? There's four of them. So if we were to look at the job... The brake pads, the brake calipers are mentioned, but not the brake caliper cylinder. So we don't need to touch that. But it's really weird how it works. Now there's brake calipers here. I'll tell you what, let's go over here first. No items to work with, right. That sucks. We have brake calipers, and all of them are under 100%, which implies that we have to fix all of them. Which would be four of them. But well, there's one... Two in the list. There's only two in the list. Which basically means those two. So I'm only going to replace those two. So now we can press T. Because we've got the tablet now. So we're going to grab two of those things. And we're going to get rid of that and get rid of that. And let's see what else we've got. We have the brake disc ventilated. And we have brake pads. So we're going to need four brake pads and one brake disc ventilated. Brake pads. We're going to need four of these. Brake disc. One ventilated one. gets rid of those we'll get rid of one ventilated disc now this is where it gets expensive um this thing is going to be pretty expensive inner tie rods and outer tie rods we need two of each of those So ones. Uh, low suspension arm, two of those things. Now rubber bushings, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bushings and two lower suspension arms. Two of those. Rubber. Eight of those. Okay, low suspension arm. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't believe those two need fixing. Let me just check the list. I really wish this was sorted by name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight. So I'm pretty certain that's correct. Now, the drive axles. Solid rear drive axles. We want two of those and a steering rack. Uh, let's see. Solid rear drive axles. Two of those. And a steering rack. 
$760. That's not cheap. Finally, we need two wheel hub caps, and I think that's the whole shopping list. Wheel hub cap. Okay, that scrolled on me. We're done. That should be all the parts now. We've got reassembly, so let's go back into part mount mode. The disc on. Brand new brake pads. Brand new calipers, but existing cylinders. swing over here. Now we have a rubber bushing to put in, which is there. A brand new one of those. Let's see if I can convince the game to let me move over here. Let's get that bushing in now. Drive axle's going in. Brake disc is going in. Brand new pads. And I think that completes the rear. I think that's it for the rear, though. Now we've got the front, so let's go start in the centre and let's get the cross member in. Wait, 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 wait a second. Did I miss that? I think I missed that, cross member B. Uh, front suspension cross member B. It's like a missed one. Now the cross member has four bushings in it. So I'm going to put those in. Before we do anything else. Otherwise there's a risk I'll forget. Okay, that's done in. Brand new. Let's get the lower suspension arm in. A brand new rubber bushing on each side. Brand new steering rack, which was very expensive. Okay, new tie rods are in there now. New brake pads. This thing is going to drive pretty well now. Okay, that's that side done. Suspension's going in. Uh, that rubber bushing is on 55%. That's okay though, because that was one of the ones that didn't need fixing, I think. I really hope that we didn't miscalculate. We counted eight brand new rubber bushings, and I think that's correct, but now I'm slightly worried. If it shows up as not fixed, it's going to be that one. Let's have a look at it. Uh, rubber bushing not fixed here. But it could be one we're about to put on. 
Mm. I'm not convinced, you know. I'm going. Yeah, we don't we don't have any more rubber bushings to go in, so it has to be this. We're gonna replace those. They're not very expensive. I just hope that's correct. Because if it's not correct, it's going to be something else, and I don't know what. <laughs> so we shall see. Should be it now for all the pieces. Oh man. Brake disc ventilated and a brake caliper. Brake disc ventilated and a brake caliper. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I don't believe we examined this particular... Hmm. Right, so it must be one of the front ones because it's a ventilated brake disc, right? That one's brand new. Caliper's not brand new, though. Which must mean that it's the ventilated brake disc on this side. Mind you, that caliper looks pretty dodgy. Okay, let's have a look. Eighty percent. One brake caliper, one brake pad, and one ventilated brake disc. That brake pad is on a hundred percent. Which means it has to be that brake pad. Unless it's one of the ones on the back. That's on 100% as well. This is slightly unexpected. I have to admit. Looking at this. That... That doesn't look as like, like it's in good condition to me, that brake disc, but that's not a ventilated one. Did I mess something up here? Did I just not see this? These things are in 55%, this one's in 80%, but if you look at the job list, pads, caliper, two pads, one caliper, wait, what? This list just got bigger. <laughs> this list just got bigger. Right, okay. One pad, one caliper, two pads, one caliper, three pads, one caliper. Four pads, one caliper. Four pads, two calipers. Four pads and two calipers.
I feel like I'm being ripped off, guys. Not gonna lie. Um. Um. What? What did my bright pads go that were broken? I just bought some brand new brake pads, so where are the ones that are broken? And where are the broken... well, there's the broken calipers. What on earth is going on? Okay, so one of the ventilated discs needs to be replaced, though. We know that that one is in pretty much 100% condition, so it has to be the one that we've got. So if we buy another one of them... And we get rid of the 80% one... Surely that's it now. It doesn't mention cylinders. I'm honestly confused by this job. I, I don't know if I've just completely done something wrong. Or whether this is screwing up on me. Or maybe I just missed something. I'm just not sure. I just hope this works, if it doesn't. Okay, let's have a look now. Okay, brake pads, calipers. It looks like it's working. Okay, so that doesn't look right, does it? That brake disc is completely rubbish, but on the part list... It doesn't say anything about replacing a brake. It just doesn't mention it. And yet it's clearly wrecked. Okay, one brake pad. So it is, it is fixing it. This job doesn't make any sense to me though. That brake disc back there was... Well, and that one as well, look. It's completely horrible. Okay, what are we on now then? All green! Total payout five thousand dollars. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure what happened in that one. I mean, if you if I did something wrong, let me know in the comments, because that's honestly confusing me. Um, it's still a bit of a rust bucket. By all accounts. And there's definitely brake discs on the back that are completely wrecked, but it doesn't seem to want us to replace it, but. Anyway, it's finished. Get out of here. Five grand! Five grand and we leveled up. Let's have a look. Let's go to the toolbox. We have one available point to spend. Now, this is where it gets interesting in our choices, because now we could go for. This, we can un unlock the OBD scanner, or we could... Can we unlock that yet? No, we can't unlock that yet. That's the electronic meter. We can't get that one yet. I don't know, because we need to be... 
Do we need to get something adjacent to it, maybe? Like, if we get this one, then we can get this one? It could be. We can get the part thing. We can get the tire tread tester. We can't get that yet. Now, this is the repair thing. Look, 55% to 65%. That's significant, that is. And then that to 75%. Like, those three points, that, that seriously is going to affect your, um, your income. But so far, we've not really been getting a lot of stuff that's repairable. But once we start getting scraps and things, this will become significant. Being able to repair things we find in barns and stuff or get from an auction is going to be a significant part of the game. Um, but I think for now... 100% faster screwing and unscrewing. That's, that's tasty, that is. Not going to lie, that's tasty. Instant examine three parts as well is tasty. OBD is useful-ish. I'm thinking maybe this one, then this one, and then duck into that one. The multimeter is pretty useful. We also want to get to here as quickly as possible. Alright, let's take that. And then we're going to go here, then here. What's that one? Compression tester. Parts like head block or pistons. So that's that's pretty useful. That saves you taking the engine apart to find that out. That's very useful. Okay, we are on level six with 1,800 XP, fourteen thousand dollars in the bank. That was a very strange last uh, car repair, but I'm gonna say it was probably my fault, <laughs> and you was probably sat at home screaming, "Go, you squirrel, you idiot!" Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and uh, until the next time, take care and happy repairing.